What's going on YouTube? T5 Tech here. And I just come with a couple of my thoughts from the Nintendo Direct um, display that they had today going on uh, at about 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I'm really excited about it because I saw a lot of things that I actually like. Uh, I saw a couple of things I didn't like, but um, I'll go through most of the stuff that really kind of caught my eye. Uh, so one of the things that I want to talk first about my number one thing that I really liked that they show. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to save that. <laughs> and I'm going to give you that at the end just so, you know, so I don't want to get too excited right now. But um, let's see. Uh, what are some of the things that uh, that really, really popped out? Okay, starting off with the uh, with the Smash Brothers. Um, I, I'm actually doing a compilation with uh, Alpha Rakama on his channel. Uh, offer a comment tech videos and um, I just basically gave uh, my information on you know what I thought about the um, the Mario Kart is coming out now the Mario Kart uh, you know they're talking about new characters uh, new courses and uh, just you know a different battle mode so go ahead and switch over to him um, you know check that out you know once you're done uh, hearing what I had to say about the Nintendo Direct uh, so let me move on. I'll let you go over there and see what I said. Um, let's see here. Also, I wanted to, oh yeah, okay. So I wanted to touch on the, um, Ultimate Street Fighter 2 that's coming out for the Switch. Um, well, I want to get this game just so I can, you know, kind of, you know, see how it runs or whatnot on the Switch. Um, I have to say I'm not as excited about the um the evil ryu and the um the i think it's the fury uh, i can't believe i can't remember what uh ken's name violent ken yeah the so the so the ryu and the ken um i mean it's okay you know to add two new characters but i would have rather seen like two totally new characters that you never seen before that would have been a little more exciting for me um of course i want to see what the new moves that they do and, um, you know, and see how they fight or whatnot, but not as excited about it as I want to be. Um, but I still might, you know, pick it up or borrow from a friend just so I can check it out and give you guys a review on um, on what I think about it. Um, let's see here. Also, oh, yeah, I saw the Minecraft Switch Edition. <laughs> I've never really paid a whole lot of attention to, uh, to Minecraft. It's not really been my type of game, but... Uh, a couple of times, I, I remember walking through the store and almost buying it just to kind of see, you know, how it was. People used to tell me um, all the time. I used to have a friend who used to work with me. And um, all she did was play Minecraft. Um, <laughs> she was talking about how crazy she loved that game. And I was just like, this girl's crazy. But um, but definitely, that made me kind of pay a little bit of attention to it. And um, now that they have, like, the Mario worlds and you can be different people, I mean, they look kind of funny because you know it's blocks and building but of course that's just how minecraft looks so i think i want to i might try that out i know nintendo is not going to give me a hard copy of that game <sighs> so unless it's like 10 bucks i probably won't jump into it i'm a hard copy guy i like to have my stuff in my hand i like to have my copy right here that's just what i do um okay so sonic uh, it's, it's got the Sonic, uh, th there was, there was the new Sonic that's coming out. Um, that looks good. Ready to jump on that. Just enough said it was just, it was classic new Sonic. Um, then you had the old Sonic and you said, it said that they added a couple boards to it. Okay. Um, that sounds good. I want to check that out. Please, please Nintendo, give me a cartridge with that. Um, I don't know if that's going to be download too. I don't know how many times I can say it enough, but um, the more cartridges you give me, the more actual, you know, physical, I'm, I'm going to jump on that too. But yeah, Sonic looks good. Um, what else did I want to take a look at? Uh, oh yeah, Puyo Puyo Tetris. Um, I'm not totally sold yet. Not for, I think the price might have been like $39.99 or somewhere around there. I could be wrong, but, um, but definitely... Um, I want to try it out first, so I'm probably going to like go to maybe a local GameStop or um, try to see if I can download a um, a demo if they have something like that and just check it out because you know I, I saw they had the the Tetris that was um, 
like the traditional Tetris, but then they had the one where you had to group the colors in there too. And I sort of have played games like that before. I want to say maybe like Columns or something like that on Genesis is sort of like that, but I mean, you never really can tell how good a game's going to be until you get your hands on it yourself, get that experience. So looking forward to that. Um, the, oh man, the Monopoly. The Monopoly looks so hard. I got to get on that Monopoly. Monopoly look crazy. So, hey, if you're going to be in that Monopoly, I'm going to be in that Monopoly. Now, now for that one, this is, I don't care. If it's a down, whatever it is, I'm jumping on that Monopoly. It looks good. It looks polished. Um, I definitely want to, you know, try this one out. And um, I think that's going to be a major Switch game, especially when you got those little Joy-Cons and four people can get down at the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So give me another set of Joy-Cons and, you know, jump on that Monopoly, you know, definitely. Um, what else? Is that? I saw the Rayman. That looks good. Um, they had some, a couple of extra things on that Rayman that, that actually did look good. But I have it on the Vita. And I'll be honest with you, I've probably only got 20, 30% of that game because that game's so big. That game, Rayman is huge. So, um, so yeah, that Rayman Orange is a game. If you don't have Rayman or, you know, you just think about trying it out, that's definitely going to be the game for you. Pick up that Rayman if you don't already have it. If you already have it, you know, if you, if you really want to pick it up for the Switch experience, why not? So, um, and maybe do a review. I'll watch yours and see how it is. Um... Let's see, what else? I saw the Namco Museum. Can't go wrong. Then the Splatoon 2. Oh, yes. Splatoon 2 is looking good. They got the Amiibo support in there. Um, I like the new, how they focused on the uh, the adventure type portion of the game and not just the multiplayer because it was so much multiplayer focus on the uh, first one. Uh, I can't wait to see what the storyline is going to look like on the second one because uh, that's going to make that's that makes or breaks it for me. I like to get that storyline in the game. I, I remember my boycotted um, the the Titanfall and um, and a couple other games that didn't have a you know a storyline. I like to have at least the storyline so I can get that replay value. If I want to put it away, jump back on it six months later, I can do that. You know, you never know when a server could go down or or whatnot. So. And for the last but not least, I saw whew, the Neon Joy-Con. <laughs> Yo, I got to have some Neon Joy-Cons. I'm a controller guy. That's what I do. That's what I like. Um, I really like those Neon Joy-Cons. So I'm looking forward to that. That's my number one purchase if I got to put it on... Uh, if I can get a pre-order for it, give it a pre-order. Give it to me. Give it to me now. <laughs> I want those Neon Joy-Cons. I know I got to wait until um, what game was coming out with the Neon Joy-Cons. Uh, I think it was... Uh, I want to say Platoon, Splatoon had a Neon Joy-Con. No, 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 no. It was the uh, ARMS game. Okay. So the ARMS game, uh, I didn't say anything about that. Yeah, okay, with the well let me finish about the control. With the controller, you get that battery pack too that they they're gonna be selling. Definitely gonna have to get that. So I get some extra battery on my Joy Cons, but yo, that neon. <laughs> I'm picking it up. Um, arms. Um I'm still I'm still deciding if I'm gonna jump on the arms bandwagon. I know Alpha's gonna get it, so I'm gonna be playing his. And uh if it's anything like, you know, I started playing that bomber man, I actually did like that game. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to put arms on my list. Um, arms look like it's something that you know. Once you really start to get to play it and get to the mechanics, you're gonna have to you know be able to play other people who you know maybe know how to play the game, so you don't just like crush them. But um, but I can see it being very competitive. You know what I'm saying? If there's like ways that you can get strategies, you know, in that game, because I'm I'm definitely like a a fighter type you know player. So I love my fighters. You know, Mortal Kombat, you know, Street Fighter, you know, whatever. So. Um, but that's just my quick thoughts about the Nintendo Direct. Um, please, please, please like, hashtag um, at the bottom, you know, Nintendo Direct, whatever you want to do. Um, if you can't subscribe, subscribe down at the bottom so I can give you some more good content. And I really, really, really appreciate you. Thank you for watching my channel, for checking out what, what we have to say about the, you know, we had Nintendo's Mondays, me and Alpha Rakama. And uh, just checking out uh, the Polytext as well. Um, you know, check the, I'll put the descriptions at the bottom. Um, check these guys out. We're all trying to do our thing here and I uh, give you good content. So uh, God bless. See you later.